NFL hell, several stadiums nearly empty as anthem protest backlash rolls into week seven. Several NFL stadiums are nearly empty post kickoff as the national anthem controversy rolls into week seven. Plenty of empty seats visible at the Hard Rock Stadium in Florida as the New York Jets play the Miami Dolphins. If the NFL thought Americans would ease the backlash against the league, they were sadly mistaken. Photos of empty stadiums from around the league show how dire a situation kneelers have spurred. Stadiums were nearly empty in week six, as well. Breitbart News reports, note, that the Jets play New England on Sunday, meaning there should have been a big crowd for that game. The Texans, Atlanta, and Baltimore are also very relevant teams with relatively loyal fan bases. Yet, thousands upon thousands of fans no showed or didn't buy tickets for those games. Photos of empty stadiums comes amid a slew of disastrous polls shows how far the NFL's popularity has dropped. It's common knowledge the left hates football in contact sports. They have targeted football for years. But now thanks to Roger Goodell their prayers are answered. The NFL managed to pi dollar dollar off their core audience by nearly 40 points in the last three weeks. Nearly 60% of working class Trump supporters now view the NFL unfavorably. The week reported, just three weeks ago, about 60% of both Democrats and Republicans said they viewed the NFL favorably, a daily tracking poll from Morning Consult found. Then President Trump stepped in. After the president told NFL owners to fire players who kneeled during the national anthem, more and more players did the opposite of what Trump wanted. Now, Trump voters have flipped their allegiances, more than 60% view the NFL unfavorably, up from around 30% in September. Meanwhile, analysis from the New York Times shows Hillary Clinton voters' views remain relatively unchanged. And Trump still hasn't given up the debate. President Trump has been driving this hot-button issue, waging a culture war against the NFL that has been damaging to both their players and owners.